Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make that watering bottle which I usually tend to talk about. Now, I know there are a lot of watering cans available online which are not very expensive, but I prefer to use the resources that are already available. Now, this was an old water bottle that was just lying around and I had some pipe. Uh, so I thought that I'll make a watering bottle and the money that I can save I can buy some more succulents with that money So now I usually go with the old way of uh, creating uh, this bottle. I do not use any uh, electric uh, Rods to melt the uh, cap of this I go with a candle and I use this rod I just heat this rod and I make a hole on the cap of this bottle so I'm going to do it right away but it's going to be a little windy so I will uh, make the hole and show it to you. So I usually just light the candle and I just heat this rod like this and then I make the hole on the bottle cap. What I'm going to suggest is when you tend to make a hole on the cap ensure that you do not make a hole very big on the initial start itself make a smaller hole and then when you tend to put the pipe if you feel that the pipe is not going through then you try to make a little bigger hole but when you're initially making the hole do not make a large hole in one go because people wanted to know what kind of a pipe it is now i'm not very sure about the material uh, it's somewhat a very flexible rubber kind of a tube that i have which i usually use for watering my other house plants so as you can see the pipe is very flexible it's i think made out of a very soft plastic kind of a material which uh, is very flexible and can easily bend so i have cut now you can use the size as per whatever length you want i usually prefer to have this length and after that you can see this is where i have cut the pipe the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it diagonally to make it little pointed so this is going to make it much easy to water so the water is just going to come out because it's going to be more narrow as you can see. So as you can see I have made it narrow at the end. This is from where the water is going to come out. And this is the end where I am going to put it inside the pipe. So now as you can see over here I have already made the hole. Now because this pipe is as I said it's very flexible. That is why do not make the hole very big. Make it little smaller and try to insert the pipe inside this bottle. Now usually what happens is that because this pipe is made out of a rubber kind of a material. I'm not very sure what kind of material is it. But it's very flexible. So when you tend to put this inside it. Even if the hole is very small it will squeeze through like this. It will squeeze through. Now the best part about this is I do not need to use any glue. But in case if your water starts leaking through this, you can always use some kind of a glue to lock this position over here. This part you can use some glue. But I do not use glue because when I insert this pipe, that's the reason why I said that you need to have the hole slightly smaller so that you need to push the pipe in. By doing so, it is going to completely lock this portion and the water is not going to come out so i do not need to use any glue but let's say that if you have made the hole quite big and now there is a lot of gap then you can use some glue to connect it i'm not going to use glue because the pipe is completely tight on the hole and now the water is not going to come out because this tends to lock this position and now the water is not going to come out so it's pretty simple all i have to do is just fill water all i have to do is just fill water and now the bottle is ready as i said because this was a rubber thing even though the pipe is very loose in this i have not added any glue but still you can see the water is not going to come out from this the water will only come out from this opening over here the water does not come out from this because it has created a seal because this is made out of rubber uh, the hole was very small and the uh, pipe exactly fitted on that and that's why it is not going to leak any water because it's completely locked over here so the water is only going to come out from this and not from this but in case if the water starts coming out from this you can always use some glue around it so now i have my succulent over here i'll just take the water bottle and i'll start watering it and you can see how easily it can be watered now the best thing what i like about these bottles is because the pipe is very small it does not put in a lot of water in one go uh, the water immediately starts to get absorbed into the pot into the soil and it starts to 
drain out immediately and at the same time there is not a lot of water that is going to come out in one go and as you can see it was pretty simple the water has started to pass through the drain hole because my soil is very loose porous and well draining and you can see how easily you can maneuver the watering as per your choice you do not need to be worried that the water is going to fall on the succulent and you can see how easy it is to water with this diy bottle so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating